how different do you want your practice to be? What sort of work do you See, want to do? See, that was just lifting my foot off. Yeah. <laughs> and when you lift yeah, your foot, is, it's like you have a pointy knee. Uh-huh. Right. Yeah. 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 Even talking to massage therapists and say, yeah, my practice is all mat based They're like, what? I'm like, yeah, I don't even have a massage table. And they're like, what? Is that possible? Um, I sat at a, a local right school no. and I, I told mess. the young lady, yeah. she was, I think, new I like in school. That. I told her the sessions were three hours, and she was like, I don't I don't understand. What are you doing for three hours? <laughs> what are you even paying? Oh, <laughs> yeah, it was. Wow. <sighs> but it's nice because in the subscription service, I get ongoing feedback. The students start using the work, even if they've never met me in person or take physical class. And they're like, yeah, I worked on these arms for like an hour. Just on one side, I'm like, that's why the session's in three hours. Do you see the difference? Because that was the problem arm. Oh, that's too much. I should have too much. Trying to, to get massage therapists to understand that you can teach them a completely different service. There's a, a marketing challenge. Because to really build you up, I have to get you off the table. And then I have to build you up to suspension. But here's what I think happens. Once you get there, you ain't going back. Not if that's what you want to do. So your three hour session is how much? 240. Yeah, that makes more. That's not <laughs> three hours. Say again? Oh, this week is bad. Um, I'm going to St. Louis from the 18th uh, to the 20th, so my schedule is kind of like, uh, you know, I say that, no, I think I took off tomorrow okay. for my own yeah. safety and health. <laughs> right. yeah. After teaching for two days. Okay. okay. Well, it's also, uh, the classes are very mentally. True. Yeah. yeah. So when I get done, it's kind of like you did homework for hours. Oh, right. how's that? Hello, <laughs> Tex. But no, I'm here. Yeah. Like, I'm not going okay. anywhere. Feel free to come out and get a session. Yeah. You do a lot here. Yeah. Huh? In this room? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. Okay. It's all loosened up. Okay. Okay, here's, here's a good question. Let's ask this with TDLR. Can you legally work out of your home in Texas? Yes. For massage, you can't. For addition, you can't. Stipulations. I knew you could. I just didn't know what criteria you would have to do. Why can you not have a position? Um, because we can't work anywhere where there's food prep, and okay. everything has to be handicap accessible, and okay. there's a third thing. Your floor, so. No, no carpet. carpet. Okay. Okay, I'm going to try and one that, good spot in here. Okay. Oh, right? yeah. I'm, I'm just going to put this in a couple of So here, I'm going to do that. 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 Was the esthetician, I don't know what to call that board, were they under DSHS? No, esthetician has always been TDLR. So, under TDLR, can you have a home based massage practice? Yes. What are the Yes. To my knowledge, yes, you there's you no rules that. against that. Know. But here's what you deal with. Your county and where you live may have zoning ordinances that are different than they are in Round Rock. Here's what the zoning ordinance said in Round Rock. Don't piss off your neighbors or we'll shut you down. Don't operate a drive through And when we go in this house, I said, okay, we got a big open room. we got an empty lot, empty lot, parking along the, down both sides of the street. I see one client for three hours, yeah. max two a day. I look like a really good drug dealer. Yeah. <laughs> three hours, they leave walking very differently. It's not a lot of traffic. Now, the thing is, if you were hour, 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 right, right. there's a lot of traffic coming and going. It draws attention. I guarantee you some of my neighbors don't know I run a business out of here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a different package. It's a different service. When mm-hmm. I have a class, oh, there's some cars. Okay. Yeah. So it doesn't, it's not that big. Yeah. Looks like you just have people. <laughs> now, I'm, I'm very much a proponent of people having home-based practices if they want. There are a lot of reasons to do that. Um, the main problem I hear consistently is women not wanting a home-based practice.
strikes for safety reasons, which makes me totally sad and frustrated for Kavanaugh related reasons. Because yeah. I want you guys to feel safe and have options. Isn't that yes. what to do about their marketing and what to do about their social media. And they're like, well, what sort of photos? You know, what sort of photos, what sort of videos do I put on my social media and my website? And I'm like, if you're a woman, probably photos and videos of you doing Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and uh, shooting at the shooting range. Yeah. On, on the front page of your website. I'm sorry? If, if, if you have photos and videos of you doing Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and shooting weapons on your website, As a woman. <laughs> okay. will guys think twice about... Not normally tell. Yeah, you think you're going to get, you you're gonna get that I'm, phone call? Hey, do you do yeah. a special... You think you're going to get that? Yeah, if you'd like to see my 38. <laughs> <laughs> like, 38, I'm going to show some... She's <laughs> no bullshit. She will... Yeah, there's no complete prevention, but the thing is, it's, it's sad for me that there's an additional security issue. I had the opposite problem. It's good I have gender not trust to get people to come to my home, and that's been a resounding yes. But also, it, it means that people who come to see me, it's like, they're really committed to getting better or you know, yes. getting some good work or something. Um, I don't get a lot of people who just want a massage. And when I talk to people on the phone, yeah. and y'all may do the same thing, I work with people in pain. I work with people in issues. Now, if you want to a relaxing massage, I can do that too. But don't mind that. I really don't. I'm like, there's a lot of uh, relaxation therapists yeah. out there. <laughs> Who are you? Yeah, everybody's demeanor is different. Yep. Yeah. It's boring. Boring. Yeah. Yeah. It's a boring. Yeah. <laughs> it's a boring session. A lot. I, I'll see the threads on Mom. massage forums where massage therapists are bragging about how quickly they can put the client to sleep. Oh. And I had a phone call. I mean, because I'm not against it, but at the same time, that's just not what I, I mean, it's not what I do, specifically. It's not that people never fall asleep during a session. It can actually be a potentially dangerous situation, because mm -hmm. sometimes people are startled oh. and disoriented when they wake up. Yeah. I don't get overly concerned about this. Yes. 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 Like, I, it's interesting. I see lots of stuff. There's lots of discussions on massage entrepreneurs. They take new clients and they take payment in advance. Can you can you move a little What did you say? Uh, therapists are taking credit cards and payments in advance to prevent no shows. Yeah. Yeah. And they're like, well, Robert, what do you do about no shows? I'm like, take a nap. <laughs> and the thing I have, but I have to realize, like, oh, but it's three hours. So it's like my morning is free or my afternoon is free. Okay, Whereas the when they've got gaps, it kind of screws up their work schedule because oh. they're there to work and now they got like a two hour gap and they got to stay. But then it's like the, the, this common stuff. Because the thing is, I don't, what I do is not package the way consumers think of massage or massage therapists think of it. They'll, they'll post photos of their laundry and I'll walk up to my shelf and go, that's about a week's work. And they go, dude, how do you get away with only using flat sheets? Well, I don't know what you think of as massage. Free boot, do less laundry. <laughs> do less laundry. That should be the same thing, seriously. You want less, less laundry? Prevent no shows, free boot. Or whatever, I don't know. I mean, occasionally I do get a no-show, but for me, like, I'm busy enough where I'm like, oh, good. Fill that time, yeah. Right? Well, yeah, it, it's like... Plus, you're at home. <laughs> exactly. So there's, 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 there's a different set of parameters there. Yeah. So who wants more like mo mobilization in that area? 
for stretching. Yeah. Who doesn't want it? I'm <laughs> <Really? laughs> um, really interested in, like, I'm not, I'm not sure if we can do this on the table, but you've got a picture in there where you're, like, leaning against somebody's calf and you're leaning back, and I'm like, that looks good. That looks great. So we'll get the calves. We'll probably have time. Yeah. Like, the one the ones where the mat or green or toes are underneath the scapula. Yeah. That's what I want. Side, side oh, line. We'll side, yeah, side line. Um, oh, yeah. Adductors, we'll, we'll get to. Um, who wants to go to more? <laughs> She's good enough. Blank thing, not, not as much compression. Okay, so go ahead and lay down over here. And can you lay down on your back? Okay. Now, for a client, we just completely oh, confuse them. Because I say, okay, hey, we're going to work on your, your gluteals. And they go, well, why are you having on my back? That's the first thing. That's the first thing. Oh, that was that was left. Left. I mean, it's okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was a lot of No, I just. So I'm going to have this uh, camera right here next. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 on the back table, so you guys are going to have to construct it. Yes. So, sometimes when people come in, if they if they said they were already having sciatica, I might put them in this position first, which is why it's even more confusing. Because they're like, dude, I told you that, you know, like I'm having a problem in the back. Why are you having me on my back? And I go, well, where do you feel it? And they go, oh, my, you know, right side. Are you right here? Yes. A little tighter on the right side? Yes. So... I'm going to lift her up, and then instead of doing like very classical, like being the same shoulder, being the opposite shoulder, I go, listen, when you have problems like down your leg, just feel a little bit like that. Real, a real gentle version, okay? What's the difference between mobilize, lengthen, and stretch? Speed and lengthen. Duration. Duration, yeah. Speed. Intensity. How's this? I feel like on the inside of my hip on that side. Okay. Is it pinching? No, it's just tiny pain. Okay. So psoas? when I go over, when I go to there, pinch. Okay. When I go there, mm -hmm. pinch. Now, if I go there, always. Um, sometimes it's just tightness around muscles around the hip. Some people have. Uh, radically different hip structure where the acetabulum, which means little vinegar cup in Latin, uh, where the femur sits, um, they can be really shallow or really deep. In addition, the acetabulum can be in different positions on the pelvis. There is no, like this bony structure, you can't stretch bone, right? right? So the thing is, like some people's hip mobility will be completely radically different. It's not even soft tissue, it's actual bony structures. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna force that pinch in the hip because I don't wanna make her feel uncomfortable. I don't know offhand whether that's bony or whether it's just soft tissue, okay? So when I come up, if I were gonna stretch piriformis, what direction would I bring the knee? Cross. Typically, I think knee to opposite shoulder. Mm -hmm. Is it pinch at all? In the back or the front? In the front. A little bit. A little bit, okay. So I'm going a little bit higher. I'm not feeling anything. But pretty, pretty limber. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no pinch in the front. And how's that in the posterior? I'm not feeling anything. I thought you had a problem with that there. Mm -hmm. Just worked out. <laughs> 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 yeah, I think we get that a lot too with your kind of stuff. They don't feel the stretch. It's fine. And then adductors, how's this? We don't have any problems. I can't work on you. You're making a horrible lot. I thought I did. <laughs> 
but everybody is going to be just a little bit different in how they respond to pressure. Mm -hmm. Most people, I can take them, let's say I had a little old lady and I did a table tie version mm -hmm. because when I'm working with her, you know, it's like, am I going to go for that full extreme? No. Mm -hmm. I would do, hey, how's this feel? Yeah. And they go, oh, that feels so good in my low back, little circle. And I go, how about this? A little bit more? Oh, yeah, that feels really good. And then you'll get to an edge and they go, oh, oh, yeah, that's where, oh, there, that's good. Mm -hmm. No more than that. And that's the difference between mobilize, lengthen, stretch. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bring it in here. And I can alter the, the body mechanics in a million different ways. If somebody dropped down before, more like IT bands. Now, what's the difference if I come over here? And the twist is deeper, right? So if I come in like this, how's this? Sorry, do you mean a roll? So you're feeling that where his elbow is? Yes, only. Yeah. Now, sure from the if I want up here, how's this? You can definitely feel that pressure. Here. Now, it depends on the client you work on. Would it be appropriate for all clients? No. No. And then some people, if they, if they like twist, how's this? See how she started to grab onto the table? Because I want to stretch. <laughs> but just, you know, playing with options, right? Mm -hmm. If I'm dealing with adductors and the leg goes open, it's very common where I can hook her onto my hip and then I'm able to do this. If I don't like the forearm and hand, I can put a towel down, I can drop down with this. How's this? But not much there in her case. Like she didn't have a huge amount of tension here mm -hmm. right now. Now, we were working all around the, the gluteal. We generally did like a range of motion. When we go need an opposite shoulder, I think it's more piriformis. But if we vary the angle, it's accessing a lot of the other stuff along the sacrum. Deep lateral rotators, obturator internus, like all these you know, deeper muscles we talk about. These good little go on quilts or whatever that was in school. Um, when we have the leg externally rotated, it's working a little bit more on the adductors, right? Now, if I want compression again into the gluteals, this is what I would typically do. This is more mat work. This is right here. Not enough pressure? Mm -hmm. Not sharp enough? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to change it. And everybody will be a little bit different. How's this? There's no pressure, but. A little sharp. But she also is just working. Yes. <laughs> and, and deeply, I might add. So how's this? So you saw how I almost dropped down to the ground? Mm -hmm. Because normally I'm doing this on a mat. It's totally, totally different body mechanics. I'll use stuff like this pretty regularly on a table where I'll come in and hook what looks like pigeon. That's probably going to be a little bit deeper. How's that? The pressure's more. But it's almost like what I call it is receiving the client because I'm pulling her body weight onto me. Mm -hmm. You'll notice that I did both legs just to test it out. You don't want to feel uncomfortable on your knee, on your hip, anything like that. Is it any different, really, than doing this? But I'm also using my hand on a woman's gluteals. It's, it's different, right? Mm -hmm. if, if I was working on her, I would do two of thing, two things. One, put her on a mat, that's the best. Two, I'd raise the table up. This is so low, I can't even, I have to like drop my body down to try to get pressure because normally what I'm doing is I'm receiving the client, I'm pulling them onto me, makes sense? 
when I'm in this position, what it gives me a chance to do is I get a chance to still compress, but I get to lengthen the adductors. A lot of people are really tight in their adductors. Then I get a chance to go right back into mobilize. Make sense? Did you guys want to try those? It was a little bit harder to demonstrate. Uh, when you have big burly guys, 300 pounds, you, you pull them onto your knee and they go, whoa. They're like, that is the strongest lady ever. That's what it feels like. Do you guys want to try those? Sure. When you say neck up, do you mean like the so occipital work we did yesterday? Um, I know it's kind of but any like face. No, it's huge. Well, I mean, you guys already do that. That's okay. That feels pretty already. You're already doing that, right? Scalp work, face work. I had students ask me for like scalp and face work one time in a class because they thought it was going to be like some crazy tie scalp and face work, and I went. You just like scalp work in particular? This is fun. So I don't typically do a lot of work with um, my feet on people's heads. So my first thought, based on what you're dealing with, is more intraoral work. Now, does Texas allow you to do intraoral massage? Yes. Oh, I had a gloves and you go to people's mouth. Oh, I, I think so. Okay, I've had a chiropractor do it before, but I haven't had a massage therapist do it before. Now, most massage therapists don't have training in it, is what I experienced. I it's like abdominal work, you don't have training in it. Cranial is it legal? Person. Yes. 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 What states is it not legal in? New York and Florida. There are other states where I mean, you cannot. So I'm mean, you know, going to bring that up as we're recording so some people will hear this. It just be aware. My first thought when you're asking is I would want to use gloves. Yes. And I'll do this in session. Like it's not a normal yes. part of what I do. And the reason I like doing intraoral work is this. Like if I work on your jaw, like if you came in and I didn't have gloves, I could work on the exterior, work on the masseter, work on this, work on that. It's way better when I reach inside with a thumb and work both sides at the same time. Like if I was in here and I click in, and I'm able to work on all of that and like gently traction your jaw, kind of unwind your mandible. Make sense? But the thing is, from a, a, a surface area component, like I'm reaching out on both sides, so I'm tractioning and like moving all of that. No, you're actually good, but you feel the whole sweat. Is that the one? That's good. Um, I did a, a video where I put somebody in sideline and I put my forearm on and took her out. This way or this way? People were like, oh it's, it's my god. <laughs> that is amazing. And I was like, no, we'll do that. What did you do? No, no. Uh, I used my forearm on their temporalis where they're on their side. Just pressure? Yeah, just broad, like more? this way or that way, yeah. like temporalis. More forearm? But it's a bigger, broader yeah, structure than the fingertips. Like, well, like, yeah, I'm trying not to, I'm, I don't know, I'm just going to do that because I don't want to like Need the same shoulder? What's that? Oh, push up. I, I went through a quick range of motion with her, and she was open enough that there wasn't a lot of resistance. It actually wasn't a very good demonstration. Sorry. But just like it's like huge. It depends on the person. So to give more clarity, when I'm when I'm working on her, and I would bring her hip through a range of motion. What I'm doing is when I bring her through a circle. 
Does it feel good? Is that going smooth? Like, I didn't feel anything. Oh, okay. So this is. I'm like, oh, what's the time to feel horror over here? Oh. here? This is where it's tight and dense. What muscles control this? And then I start working on it. Does it make sense? Yes. Some people, when I when I bring knee towards their same shoulder, here's what they're gonna feel. They're not gonna feel anything yeah. in the hip. Right. They're gonna say, "Whoa, that feels awesome on my low back." Why would bringing her knee to her same shoulder feel great on her low back? Because I'm using the leg as a handle to torque your sacrum to go stretching your back. Because they think I'm working here. No, I'm not. I'm working deep down here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 What I do is when I bring a little bit of range, I let you tell me like where it works. So I don't know how that's that. It's really like it's going to be a little bit of 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 a yeah, well, I could definitely, she was working in the opposite direction, I could definitely look a little closer. Got it. Yeah. Maybe outside of the camera now. I also know this for sure because I'm now experiencing it. Extra great. Am I doing this right? I'm in life. I was a philosophy student. Am I doing this right? I'm like, well, you are the product. Evolutionary process that's lasted billions of years. You win. <laughs> and you live in America. <laughs> so, so, for instance, it depends on what you're working on. What I don't tend to do is like with these, they're like fingers. I don't tend to side them like extremely. If, I'm, if I am rotating, it's thinking more about the it's thinking more about the femur. So like as I bring it to a range, it's very strange. So she's like, I'm going to go over to this. I'm going to go back to this side. So like in this case, I bring it over to this. Like this? Yeah. I think the one that was like tight. This is more like comfort. It's like, if I just do this, like it's just this. If I do this, it's like I need a little pressure to bring it to all this other side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. And nine times out of ten, I'm just going to have to do it. So it's like, hey, what do you like? What do you like? Do you like this? Do you like this? Do you like this? Do you like this? I have to obviously get it. I have to train it as a usual. It's your personal trainer. It's not the way that I do it. It's usually like that. They don't believe in the species of change. They're like, that's not evolution. Okay, that's not evolution. You just have a very tiny slope. Like, we're not talking about, like, my grandma. We're talking about, like, the piece of scene here. I can't talk to
Yeah. 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 Yeah.